It is officially Daytona week. This off season has absolutely flew by and it wasn't even much of an off season for me. I feel like I was still racing a bunch, still driving a bunch, which I'm not complaining because I love it and it's so much fun. I gotta drive a bunch of different cars and I'm actually really excited for this season. I feel more prepared than I was last season. I feel more confident going into the year and I feel like there's so many good things that happened in the off season that are just gonna help me throughout the year, whether it's a new Ford truck, a bunch of time on sim. Today we're going to go pro Marplex though, just to get back on the pavement because I feel like I've done a lot of dirt practicing and racing this off season. So I feel like I just need to get back on the pavement, get the feel of it because the dirt feel is definitely different, but dirt does help me racing. I feel like being able to drive anything and race anything does help. So we are just gonna go get that pavement seat time to get ready for it. a few cobwebs in here it's been a hot minute since we've been to gopro so what are the odds you think this thing actually runs i mean 50 50. first things first we need to get gas um gas right there. that is sat forever and all it's gonna do is mess okay. everything up okay. so we need to get new gas new oil and we'll start there and then Let's okay. see if it fires first. I feel like that's the first thing, deal. Let's not even buy gas if it doesn't fire. Oh! Oh! Wow! No way. Did you see that? That was first fire. No way. I'm, I'm in shock. Wow. Old Faithful. Wow. Awesome. So we're going to get practice today. How many times have you done this before? <laughs> Zero. Zero. <laughs> I grew up racing dirt oval go karts. Those are a lot different. Look at this. Dad, organize your toolbox. <laughs> Done You're about done? Ooh, look at that thing. Slight dilemma. Well, we've had a little bit of a dilemma. If you can see on the back side right here, it's uh, dumping fuel out. There's gotta be a crack in the fuel tank right there, which it's old. It's been on this thing for five years. So, little minor delay. We're gonna change out. We got a new fuel tank. Haley just went and picked one up. Right here. And, uh, I gotta change it out. So everything I did, just redo it all. <clears throat> yeah. You see, right here, it's just pouring fuel out. Mm -hmm. So, oh, I don't know. Oh. Well. Hey, we got a new one. Problem's gonna be fixed. What's racing without problems? You know? I know. You're all around. Like you're just one-stop shop. <laughs> Chase knows how to do it all. Or I just look, pretend like I do. Yeah. Perfect. Are you uh you ready to do this? I'm ready. It's been, it's been a minute. I am so ready. I don't know how old these tires are. Now this is the next problem. We gotta get this down. You got a mechanic? Okay. Just sit there. Just sit there and look pretty, okay? Alright, alright. <laughs> See, this is why you're the mechanic. That's why they pay me the big bucks around here. Big bucks. And. Oh, look Dang. at that. While you're doing that, I'm gonna actually get my helmet on, GoPro up, so you guys can watch me rip around GoPro Motorplex and have a fun time.
Yeah, you look good. Yeah, you look good. Not bad. Yeah, you look good. Yeah, I went quite a bit faster, but I feel like honestly, most of that, I feel like my tires need a full session to commit. <laughs> These things are old. They've been sitting on here for a while. You gotta work them in. You gotta baby them. So that was fun. I feel like that's pretty good. Me coming out here and aimlessly driving doesn't do that much for me. Like having something to focus on and work on. These sad cars are fast and they feel fast. You're fully exposed in them. So I feel like when I'm out there, what I try to work on is being precise, smooth with my hands, trying to slow everything down. Cause that's how it is at Daytona. You're like, you're hauling ass at Daytona. So you gotta be super smooth and precise with every movement you do with your hands. That was so much fun. There's so many cars out there right now. So it's fun to like compare yourself to other people. Cause when someone's around you, you don't know if it's a tag car, or a shifter car. So sometimes you're like good with them through a corner and then they'll just take off. You're like, that's definitely a shifter. You see like their hand shifting. You could significantly tell like lap after lap as the tires, cause these tires are oh, so yeah, old. Yeah. And you could tell like lap after lap, they started to get more heat in them and more heat and more heat and they got better and better and better and better. It took at least two laps to get just the pitch out of it and then another lap to really like gain that grip to go. Yeah. I know. I was like, They're starting to get heat in them. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm not a road course go-kart guy, but it looked, <laughs> looked pretty good to me. I guess a positive note is that it ran. <laughs> yeah, it ran, which is great. Like, I feel like there's a lot of people out here because like, there is people that take go-karting very seriously with their cars because of the fact that they race them. I don't race go-karts, I use it as a tool to practice with. So like, I'm just excited when I show up to the track and my stuff runs like the go-kart jack. And then there's other people out here that have like new tires every time they go out or every time they like come to the go-kart track and like that thing's fully tuned in and I'm over here just like what, what? We're like, uh, yeah, uh, is it running? All right, we're good. We don't even talk about how it's handling. As long as it runs, it's good enough to make laps and practice with. Well, I mean, honestly, like. Why do you want it to drive? Probably the worse it drives, the more you gotta be on it. The more work you have to do, and the more on top of it and precise you have to be because your car is not precise. <laughs>
about? Like, we're out here go-karting and this dude just hits me. Dude's like, uh, I'm out here practicing for my kart sport. Every <laughs> lap, every lap was a qualifying lap for him. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna move and practice. Why was he so pressed? You're a junk, you're a junk old faithful over here, come on. Come here, lay back, chill, and you're like, oh, it's all good. I'm just gonna practice, get some laps in. You're like, dope! We're like, oh my god. <laughs> Calm down, everyone. We know you're in a stripper cart, buddy. No tester. <laughs> it's like automatically it comes with like this like pride that you have to get by the tag cars as quick as possible, or else you're not fresh the cart. It's the funniest thing ever. Oh well, my back bumper is probably beaten. I don't know what he got out of that, but oh well. Overall, good day. It was a good day. <laughs> oh, yeah, Car no, ran for three sessions. Still runs, which is great. Usually if you get it to run in the beginning, it doesn't run at the end too. <laughs> so we made it through the whole day with that. I'm happy with it. I feel like I got some good laps under my belt, a bunch of laps. And we got here pretty early, got done pretty quick. So I had a great time here today. Obviously, this isn't the only thing we do to get ready for Daytona. I go to the simulator a lot. I go at least once a week to multiple times a week. And then we got to have some Daytona meetings before the race. But unfortunately, you guys can't see either of those. So be sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hope you had fun with us this video. And we'll see. As you guys may have seen before, we did say we were in LA for the clash. And today is Sunday and it is happening. <laughs> A big Ford welcome to the. It just came out new Ford, so I'm super excited. I think we. Hey, we love you, Amy. Chase, Chase, Chase. <laughs>